Hello ARFCOM family, thank you for tuning in. I'm Pat and today's video is about the Vortex Spitfire. This is their HD Gen 2 3 times magnification prism scope. Now I've had it right at 90 days on loan from Vortex. I've had it on two different hosts. One of them is a very mainstream host and the other one's a little oddball, kind of starting to get into my wheelhouse. Of course, what I'm going to do is show, give you a very detailed look. We're going to go over its features, but all of that after a word from our sponsor, Winchester. They've provided all the Pew Pew seeds that we've used for testing. Those guys are awesome, so please support the people that support us. Let's get over here to the table and let's look at this optic. And boom, there it is mounted up on my second host. This is the oddball host. Now the first host was an AR-15, which is what most of you guys would be buying it for. But as soon as I saw that it had that low mount, I would be placing it on the Henry X Model 4570. Because that low mount brings it down to work on a rifle like this. Now the only consideration that I would do is this excess sights, the lever rail, doesn't allow you to bring it all the way back. Now see, this thing has 2.6 inches of eye relief so I have to choke up on the stock just a little bit. What I would do if I kept this on here for forever, I'd slide it back on a rail that allowed it to come back and give me just a little bit more eye relief. But outside of that, this thing has worked well. So like I said, the low mount is 20 millimeters off of the mounting surface. It has the high mount, which would be 40 millimeters off, and it offers a lower one-third co-witness. They've chosen to leave the elevation and windage they've chosen to leave the turrets exposed but they're low profile snag free if you're worried about it once you get them zeroed you throw your little dab of paint that way you know they haven't moved also this fast focus eyepiece it's very smooth very quick and speaking of eyes this prism style optic with that etched reticle lends itself better to people with astigmatisms than your standard red dot would. So that may be a consideration. Of course, the battery is a 2032. It's right there under that nice knurled cap. Of course, if it gets on there too tight, you can use a coin or the included tool. So now I chose to just go ahead and remove it to show it to you easier. And of course, on this side, you have your plus and minus. This plus and this minus are what gets you into your illumination settings. You have 12 illumination settings and two night vision compatible settings, which is pretty neat. And of course, this being the low mount, this being the high mount. This high mount is what you would use on your AR style or other modern rifles. And of course, all you use is your included tool. The included tool has your torques. Right here is a flat for adjusting your windage and elevation. Of course, like I said, it is not the loudest thing, but boy, is it positive. Even here on the side, if you don't have a coin, that right there locks in on your battery cover and gets you right into it. Of course, this thing is waterproof, fog proof. It has a low glare, just a really nice finish. It really does feel good to the hands. I definitely like it. The lenses are fully coated. Of course, it has the AR BDC 4 reticle. Now, I didn't try to line that up with 4570, but shooting it at distances, I did notice that the BDC reticle lines up pretty decent with 556. So that was a positive. But what I do like about it is its weight. It really isn't very heavy. It only comes in at 9.3 ounces. So it didn't add a lot to, let's say like this rifle, which is big and clunky anyway. So 9.3 ounces wasn't bad. I like the reticle. The only thing that I would like to see is for the reticle to be just a little bit larger. That way it would just be just a little bit quicker to pick up like some of my other optics. But it still worked and worked well. These covers, like I said, they kind of stayed in the way. I just use them for storage when I'm shooting it. I just take them completely off because they just wouldn't get out of the way. I love the versatility between the different mounts. That right there tickles me to death. And I think it's just a overall pretty decent optic. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this look at the Vortex Spitfire HD Gen 2. 
Of course, this is the 3X. I wouldn't mind spending some time with the 5X, but I do believe I see a 3X in my own personal future, as I do have to send this back to Vortex. So I need to get to making some videos and saving up some dollars. <laughs> but anyway, if you've enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing. Also, leave us a good thumbs up and an awesome comment to help with the algorithm. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I love you.